Tijuana and Welcome. opera? It's not the first combination that comes to mind, yet young voices are soaring to the sounds of Schubert, Strauss, Puccini, and Rossini. They say the music is transforming them, and they in turn are helping to change the image of a border city. Life can be a daily struggle in Tijuana, with its crowded hillsides and noisy streets. But amid all the chaos and congestion of this rapidly growing city, beauty pierces through on a summer afternoon inside the city's cultural center. Opera is about life on a large scale. Great loves and broken hearts, grand schemes and crushed hopes, unflinching dignity and unthinkable humiliation. Tijuana is a stage for all of these, light and dark, dreams and despair. So no art form is more fitting for this vast border city where families from across Mexico arrive in search of a new start. A graduate of the Manhattan School of Music in New York City, Tijuana-born Monica Abrego grew up in Colonia Libertad. When I was 18, I went to the conservatory and I met this wonderful teacher, Mary McKenzie. And she is the one who introduced me to this opera world. And the first one who actually uh, told me, I think you have the potential to be an opera singer. Javier Carrillo's family lives in fast-growing eastern Tijuana. Here, the traffic is loud and the air is dusty. Javier grew up listening to his father sing Mexican ballads. Before long, Javier too was picking up a guitar, playing for change in city buses. Then one day, a friend led him to the Baja California Orchestra's conservatory, and Javier became hooked. In a way, through music, I bring out what I have inside. Through art, through singing, I hope to show how man can get away from many difficult situations in life. Javier is one of a new generation of young singers whose names are not yet in lights. They are young men and women who dream their voices will carry far beyond the border. Antonio Gonzalez, director of the Angela Peralta Chorus in Mazatlan, spent several months in Tijuana last year rehearsing the chorus in Donizetti's Don Pasquale. Tijuana is full of talent, of young people who have great potential. But Gonzalez says that potential must be nurtured with discipline and support. They have yet to change the opera world but they are having an effect on Tijuana. The city now has a cafe devoted to opera, which last year hosted its first street opera festival, drawing thousands of people to Colonia Libertad. And the Tijuana Opera celebrated its fifth season in 2004 with the production of Don Pasquale, as well as an adaptation of Rossini's Barber of Seville where Javier drew laughs as Don Bartolo. But some of the best action took place backstage when director Jose Medina turned into a mother hen as he encouraged and worried over his young performers. The son of a Tijuana band leader, he is a seasoned tenor, now passing on his knowledge to this new generation. Tijuana is has a hunger for culture and education and, and music and art. Music was part of Monica Abrego's early upbringing. Like many here, she got her start at church. Hers was north of the border at Our Lady of Mount Carmel in San Isidro. Today, she remains in New York and is striving for a career as an opera singer. But she came home to Tijuana last summer to play the female lead in Don Pasquale. I'm very proud to be from Tijuana. Um, people ask me, what's going on in Tijuana, you know? And I said, well, it's not really, 
not really Mexico, it's not really the States, it's just, you know, it's, it's a border. There's also lots of good things happening here, and, and I like to say it in, through opera. Tijuana is getting ready for its second annual street opera festival this summer.